Hi, I'm Cressel Anderson, this is Maker Size. In this episode, I'll be fabricating the tailstock ram feed screw, as well as the tailstock ram, and a bearing support to hold the tailstock ram during the boring operation. The Morris taper in the tailstock ram accommodates different tooling. For instance, this chuck can be used to hold drill bits and perform drilling operations in the workpiece. To do that, it needs to move back and forth in the tailstock, and that is facilitated by the tailstock ram feed screw. The tailstock ram feed screw mates with threads on the inside of the tailstock ram, and a crank is mounted on the shaft that extends out the right side of the tailstock. The piece of scrap that I grabbed already had a 60 degree center in it, but I had to drill one in the other end. I had fairly low run out at the tailstock end, which means I got the center pretty close. On the other end, it wasn't the case. I guess what I failed to realize is that that center was on an offset from the main body of the scrap. So I cut off that offset end and re-drilled the center. I like to keep track of the different measurements as I'm turning down a piece. When I'm trying to approach something like 3 eighths of an inch, I set my calipers to show me the difference, and then I write down a target of where I want to get. In this case, it was 20 thousandths over 3 eighths. I adjusted the cross slide in by about 9 thousandths, and that got me pretty close to 20 thousandths over. So I continued that down to 3 eighths. I just turned down this rod to pretty much spot on 3 eighths of an inch. And that will be the feed screw for the tailstock ram. And the next thing I need to do is thread this rod. But first, I'm gonna take this 3 eighths inch arbor and I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to correct these pulleys. They need a crown. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take care of that now. This video is part of a series where I build a gangri lathe and you can check in the cards or down in the description for a link to the full playlist. I wasn't crazy about how far that inside belt was tracking to the left of the intermediate pulley. So I decided to try and flip around that top pulley. I wanted to see if that would help the inside belt track towards the middle of the intermediate pulley. It didn't seem to make a difference, but I think I can live with this. It's not tracking in the middle of the pulley, but it's much better than it was. The belts aren't chafing anymore. After I put the crowns on the pulleys, I threaded the tailstock ram feed screw. 
I did it just using a die, and I ran into some problems because I was trying to get the threads all the way to the bottom. I flipped the die around, and that caused it to get all squirrely. Fortunately, the folks on Facebook helped me think through the issue, and I went ahead and got started with round two. This time I decided to turn down a portion of the rod so that my die would be aligned for cutting the threads on the end part. I looked up the minor diameter in Machinery's handbook and then I turned down the rod to that diameter. After I turned down the rod, I tried starting the die by hand, but it was a little tight. I put it in the vise and got ready to tap it with the wrench. And once I got it down away from the end a little bit, I noticed that it seemed to be the right diameter.
the tailstock ram seemed a little tight on the inside of the tailstock. So I went ahead and put it back on and tried a few different techniques to reduce the diameter just enough. I tried sandpaper, I tried a file, but eventually I decided to just go ahead and use the lathe to reduce it a little bit. The tailstock's getting pretty near completion and I'm happy about that. I've even got uh, some of the footage already available as extended cuts to Patreon supporters. So those of you who are supporting me on Patreon, I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy that footage. And uh, looking forward to making some progress in the coming weeks. Hopefully wrapping up the lathe in the month of January. Thanks for watching. <laughs>